what is going on guys welcome to tense ruby tutorial let's continue our conditional statements here we are having comment block begin and end within this block we are having few statements these are our comment blocks if you don't know what is comment block you just go to the, my previous tutorials check it out because i won't repeat it again right now now what is ruby case statements it is similar to the switch case statement if you are aware of c and c++ if you don't know that no need to worry about that the syntax is as such case expression 0 here we are having the parameter expression 0 we are comparing this expression 0 with expression 1 expression 2 expression 3 expression 4 like that now when this expression 0 is equivalent to expression 1 or expression 2 if it is expression 0 is equivalent to any of these two parameters then statement 1 is executed if it is equivalent to expression 3 or expression 4 then statement 2 is executed if expression 0 is equivalent to none of these expression 1 2 3 4 then statement 3 is executed now when it is equivalent to expression 1 or expression 2 then this will be executed and our interpreter will come out of the loop that is it will come to the end it won't look for this statements or else statement now let us illustrate it with an example here I am having the variable age equal to 5 this dollar sign is nothing but the global variable which I will discuss later on no need to worry about it here we are having age equal to 5 now we are having case age that means we are comparing the constant 5 that is stored in the age variable with 0 to 2 3 to 6 7 to 12 13 to 18 now in previous tutorial I showed you this double dot operator is nothing but it is just showing the range of 0 to 2 0 1 2 3 double dot 6 it is showing 3 values 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 like that it is showing the range of values so if age lies between this range this range this range or this range then accordingly statements are getting executed so let's save it and execute it here we are getting the output as little child because the 5 that is age lies between 3 to 6 so we are print so this statement is getting executed little child so little child is executed now what if if I change it to Five. just save it and execute it it is again showing little child this is but the thing the fact is that 3 to 6 and 5 to 12 5 lies between these two statements these two ranges but still only this statement is getting executed this is because when the interpreter comes to this statement 3 to 6 then it says yes 5 lies between 3 to 6 then just just print the little child and then break out of the loop that is it won't look for this statement or this statement or this statement it will just break out of the loop and print little child one more thing here i would like to show you guys like in the syntax area we have we, i've showed you expression 0 is comparable to expression 1 comma expression 2 in similar way also here you can write like this 0 comma 1 comma 2 no problem comma 5 comma 6 7 comma 8 comma 9 comma 10 comma 11 and so on I'm not changing this statement because it will take a lot of time now let's save it and execute it here we go we get the same output little child so this shows you can write the range of values like this also 0 1 2 3 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 like this and blah 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 lots of boring stuffs are there this is all for this tutorial guys catch you in next tutorial don't forget to subscribe and support in a way you can thank you